Investors are on edge with rising bank failures and falling growth expectations. Historically, commodities like copper and oil are the first to sniff out a recession, given how closely they are tied to economic growth. Lately, however, copper and oil are telling two different stories about the health of the global economy. While oil hit a new post-COVID low last week, copper is up 8% year-to-date and 27% in the last nine months. So what explains the disconnect? We think supply holds the answer. Oil inventories are historically low, but increasing. The IEA reported that supply outpaced demand by 1 million barrels per day, or 1% of global demand last quarter. Inventories continue to increase in the US in 2023 and are close to the top of the five-year range as of March. Turning to copper, the inventory situation couldn't be more different. Goldman Sachs just came out with a forecast saying the world could run out of visible copper inventories by September. And the shortages won't be improving anytime soon. Only 250,000 tons of new projects have been greenlit in 2022 compared to 750,000 tons or higher over the past two decades according to S&P. S&P expects that even if copper supply more than doubles by 2035, a 2 million ton deficit, 5% of demand will emerge. Capital 10X has three preferred ways to invest in the ongoing copper shortage, depending on an investor's risk appetite. Option one is to buy the diversified CopEx Copper Miners ETF. 50 copper mining companies give you diversified exposure to a rising copper price without the individual risk. Next on the spectrum is to own high quality, large cap miners like Southern Copper. Southern has outperformed peers year to date due to high copper exposure and low mining costs, giving investors a balance between reward and risk. The third option is to own a small cap miner with unique exposure like Amerigo Resources. A copper miner without a mine, Amerigo offers a peer leading 7.3% dividend yield and has more cash than debt and exceeded production guidance for the last three years in a row. Amerigo offers small cap return potential while limiting the usual risks that come from owning smaller operators. For more on all things copper and oil, visit Capital 10X.